Hey guys, what's going on? It's Acme Pax, and I welcome each and every one of you back to a new video. Today, we are going to be reviewing all three retail Mosaic football products that are on the market right now. It does not look like there will be any mega boxes for this product. I could be wrong, but Panini has not released a new mega box in a few months. The only one to come out for that was uh, Select Draft Picks, and I have a feeling that they already had that product made. But it looks like Panini is going away from mega boxes right now, unfortunately. So we're only gonna have the cellos, the hanger packs, and then the blaster boxes to review today. So we have the cellos at $15 a piece, the hangers at $20 a piece, and the blasters at $30 a piece. The, there are a few slight differences uh, besides the amount of cards that you get. So hanger packs, 15 cards per pack. All three products uh, have the chance for autographs. Uh, but the uh, cello packs or the uh, value packs have the three exclusive uh, pink camo parallels and then one other mosaic parallel. So the pink camos are exclusive to the cellos. And then the they all three of them will also have the chance for honeycombs, genesises, and then the four uh, case hit inserts being busted, glass mosaic, storm chasers, and razzle dazzle. But one other thing out of here that you can get are uh, blue fluorescence number to 15 and those always used to be mega box exclusive if I, rem if I remember right or they could do pink fluorescence but uh, it kind of varies per product but these are going to be fluorescence in here uh, number to 15 and yeah so that's the gist of that one hanger packs we're going to have four uh, reactive orange parallels so it's the same as last year but it's not in a box remember panini has gone away from hanger boxes there are no fluorescence in here you can get uh, rookie scripts that are numbered from 10 down to one but other than that <clears throat> excuse me other than that just looking for the case hit parallels and then maybe even a good orange reactive or something uh, or the case hit inserts or the uh, scripts and then of course we know the uh, blaster boxes will have the numbered fluorescence to 25 as well as everything else that we've talked about. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Very excited to show off all three of these products to you guys and then make a determination at the end, you know, what kind of the best product is uh, based off of purely, you know, what we've ripped, uh, not necessarily the hits from the rip, but kind of the potential and what you can hit in these. So we're starting off with the cell packs. We'll work our way up. And if you guys enjoy this video and videos like this, be sure to let me know down in the comments section and like and subscribe. It really helps me out, keeps the channel going. So one thing that is different from last year with these, the pink camos do not come in a separate pack. Uh, I kind of liked that last year. I don't know, it just added a different element to it. But we got a Trayvon Walker debut, Wondell Robinson rookie, and then a uh, David Ajabo. Very nice. Then our green or our one other parallel is going to be a Cam Taylor Britt. So it seems like you get a lot of rookies out of the cellos. And since you're looking for even base Brock Purdy's, cellos, cellos could be a, a sneaky good contender for this. We're going to have a Travis Etienne, year two on the pink camo. Man, I, I've always loved the pink camos. It looks like they may have toned down the design just a little bit on the camos. Um, so they look really nice. Randy Moss, pink camo, very nice. And then a Michael Thomas, pink camo. Oh, and then we get two inserts in the back, Thunderlane and Touchdown Masters, Aaron Rodgers. Okay, so a lot of parallels in this actually. Um, pleasantly surprised. I thought the hanger packs were very, very good last year. I know it was incredibly difficult to hit the case hit inserts or autographs out here, but you do have those added uh, parallels in here, which give it a high floor. We've got Dawson Knox, who caught a few touchdowns uh, in the last game for the Bills. Man, I am excited for playoff football this weekend. It is going to be awesome. There are so many good games. We've got a Brian Robinson and a Jake Ferguson, two guys that I like. And then a Roger McCreary. Actually pulled an auto of his the other day, so not bad. We're gonna have a Young Waiku on the pink camo. Austin Eckler, and then Harold Landry. So, not guaranteed a rookie on the pink camos, which 
kind of brings its value down a little bit in my opinion, but still nice to get those, those parallels. This one does not want to open. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to go on a limb and say that the blue fluorescence and the autographs are going to be incredibly hard to hit out of here as well as the case in hit inserts because I, I know that they were super rare last year out of the hanger packs. So I can't imagine why in a time that they overprinted everything that they wouldn't do that to this set as well. Uh, Greg Dula Dulicic, he actually had a pretty good season, pretty good rookie season. Uh, Kurt Warner on the green. I'm gonna have a Drew Brees, pink camo, Joe Montana, pink camo, and then a Jerome Ford on the pink camo. Not bad. And we got a Will to Win and a Thunder Lane Mosaic Dalvin Cook. So you can get these in the Mosaic Parallels. So that's gonna do it for the uh, hanger packs. I, I think those could be sneaky good, uh, sneaky good value for the $15 a piece. Now let's take a look at the hangers because these are only $5 more expensive. Let's see how many rookies we get out of here and what our parallels are looking like. Gonna get a Desmond Ritter base, very nice. Joe Montana, Cooper Cup, I have a LaVisca, Donovan Peoples Jones, and have a Drake London base. So, two rookies so far out of here. Ooh, a lot of rookies, a lot of rookies in the hanger packs. Oh, we got a honeycomb. We got a honeycomb. And it is a bear. Rookie Shield, Velas Jones Jr. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, I'll take that. Honeycomb, very nice, case hit. So, hangers are bangers. The the old saying holds true. Got a Mon Ra, then we'll sleeve that Velas Jones Jr. up and take a look at him after. Got an Alan Lazard. So, it does look like they toned down the reactive just a little bit from last year, which I kind of like because I was a huge fan of the orange fluorescence and these kind of mimic that in a way. Uh, Christian Kirk, Xavier McKinney. We're gonna have a rookie, Charlie Kolar. And then on the back here, we got a Thunder Lane, Debo Samuel and a Will to Win Herbert. All right, so we are on the board with a case hit in our hanger packs, awesome. This is a really, really cool looking card. Looks cool with the Bears colors here. Man, I've been a magnet for this guy too. I've seen him everywhere. But awesome, very, very cool. Okay. So right now, just like they were last year, Hangers had a very, very high floor. So we'll have to see what the rest of these are. All right, got a Trey Lance. I saw the quarterback in San Francisco and <laughs> well, that would have been nice to hit another Purdy. Got a Danny Gray, and a Kobe Dean, a Jerome Ford again, and a Garrett Wilson. We're gonna have a, ooh, hey, that is a good one for the PC there. Christian Watson on the green mosaic. Awesome, nice color match. I was actually looking for that one. All right, got a Peyton Manning on the orange reactive. And then a Deontay Johnson, Jesse Bates, and then a Isaiah Spiller. Not a bad rookie to get. All right. And then Montage and Touchdown Masters there. Okay, so nothing crazy out of that pack, but you know, the Christian Watson might actually pay for the pack itself, just because, I mean, Packers fans are buying him up left and right. Of course, this one will not be sold, but awesome. All right, two good hangers. So hangers are, in fact, beating out the value packs. Got a George Kittle here. So last hanger pack here, Kenneth Walker, very nice. Devin Duvernay, DeAndre Swift. Gonna have another Kenneth Walker. Skylar Thompson, Damian Pierce. And then a Roger McCreary, we have a True Silver, Romeo Dobbs, hey, there we go. Another good one for my PC. Then we're gonna have a Nick Bosa. Let's see, Robbie Anderson on the Orange Reactive, Antonio Gates, 
Drew Brees, and then it looks like you for sure get one rookie per pack, and it's going to be Logan Hall. Oh, I saw the red. I saw the red. Um, it looks like you get one uh, orange reactive rookie per pack. So, hangers right now are going to be in the lead for me for what the best product is with those um, orange reactives, the chance for the honeycombs, the Genesis, um, and the case hit inserts. You can get autos in them as well. But let's see what our blasters hold now. So these are $10 more expensive than the hanger box or the hanger packs. But so far the hanger packs at $20 a piece did not disappoint. Okay, first of our three boxes or mosaic blaster boxes here. So we opened up a few on the channel. Um, actually more than a few, we opened up <laughs> um, eight of them and we hit a few autos, and, but no, few autos, but no um, case hits or anything. So hopefully we'll see something. I've seen, I have seen stained glasses fly out of the Target ones and these are from Target. So let's see what we have in ours. Got a Malik Willis, and then a Derrick Henry on the silver American Pride. Very nice, and a Mac Jones will win. Okay, but the stained glass looks so cool this year. I think it looks better than last year in my opinion. Um, I did hit a Mac Jones last year in stained glass, but man, those they are really, really cool inserts this year. Uh, Jalen uh, Pitter, he's uh, safety, I believe. He's, he's pretty good. And then a Trayvon Walker in the green. Very nice. Awesome. Okay. So in the first opening we did of Blaster Boxes, it seemed really, really hard to hit rookies in the color match. Or not the color match, in uh, Parallels, Brett Favre on the mosaic here. But in the hangers, Seemed pretty uh, pretty easy to hit the good rookies in, um, in a parallel. Okay, so nothing too crazy out of here yet. Brandon Ayuk, Jacoby Myers, Jamar Chase, and then we're gonna have a Easy E, like him a lot, and then a Devin Lloyd, nice. And the green mosaic here. So green mosaic is kind of what you're gonna see most of in these blaster boxes. Blasters do not have a specific um, a specific parallel unless you hit the uh, orange fluorescent out of it. But let's see what we have in our last pack here. Okay. And it's going to be Jonathan Taylor. Okay. So. That box was not the best, not the worst I've ever seen. We did get two decent rookies in the green mosaic there. Unfortunately, they are both uh, defensive players, but that's why we have a sample size of three of these. Okay. But still, so cool to hit that honeycomb out of that hanger pack. Okay, so we have a true silver here. It is going to be uh, Tony Baselli for the Jags. Okay. All right. We got Drake Jackson as our rookie, and then we're gonna have a Trey Lance on the green mosaic here. We'll see what happens with him at the end of the year. We've talked about it in the other videos. Um, I still think that they trade Trey Lance. Um, I mean, he hasn't played enough to really hurt his trade value at all. The only thing that will hurt his trade value is that injury. But I don't know. We'll have to see what happens with him. Got Michael Carter and then a Laramie Tunsil on the mosaic there. But tackle for Houston. So the only thing that's going to beat the hangers is if we get a case hit. That's a nice one, Kenny Pickett. Love that. Snoop Connor. And then a Bo Melton. Very nice. Um, is if we hit a case hit parallel in 
a better player or one of those case hit inserts because those will all be good players. Okay. Elway. Henry. Okay, nothing in that pack. Last pack out of this box, and then we got one more blaster to go through. Okay. So it doesn't look like anything crazy in here. We got a Devontae Wyatt, and then we're gonna have an AJ Dillon, another one for the PC there. Awesome. Okay. So that blaster was kind of a dud outside of that Kenny Pickett base. Um, that is a debut though, so not his true rookie card. Okay. Last pack, or last box of Mosaic. See if we can hit something cool. Looks like we have a silver here. And it is going to be Miles Garrett. All right. Miles Garrett, one of the best edge rushers in the league. Put him and TJ Watt in that upper echelon of amazing edges. So no Brock Purdy yet. Don't want to jinx myself yet, but hey, Joe Burrow on the National Pride here. Very cool. Let's sleep him up too. Very cool. Joe Cool. Man, he is so much fun to watch. I mean, that Bengals team is good. I don't know if it's Super Bowl good. He, they are a fun team to watch though. Chris Godwin, they're gonna have a Fred Taylor. There's a throwback on the mosaic. And touchdown masters, Stefan Diggs. Okay. A few more packs. All right. The shine on these is a little bit different than last year, so I'm always thinking that I got something. Uh, it's a Viking. It's gonna be Lewis Sign. Actually, not bad. He's a pretty good rookie for the Vikings. They couldn't have given him an actual jersey, though. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So, doesn't look like anything in this pack, unfortunately. So, down to our last pack for the blaster boxes. Let's see what we got. Okay, Aaron Rodgers, Leonard Fournette. I'm gonna have a Jerome Ford. All right, no rookie. Uh, Kyler Murray on the green here. So nothing too crazy out of the blaster box. We did get some good hits out of there. Um, but in my opinion, I think the hangers might be the best value just based off of, not because I hit a honeycomb out of it, but you have all the potential to hit and then all of the parallels to go along with it as well as quite a few rookie base cards, which you're obviously looking for those Kyle, or those um, Brock Purdy rookie cards. Uh, so we got a Lewis Sign, um, Green Mosaic, Joey B, Green Mosaic, Kenny Pickett base, Trey Lance, Green Mosaic, Devin Lloyd, Green Mosaic, and then Trayvon Walker on the Green Mosaic, and that is his debut card. Then our bigger cards were the Romeo Dobbs True Silver, a Christian Watson on his debut card and the green mosaic. And then we did get a honeycomb, Velas Jones Jr. Uh, pretty cool card here. I really love the honeycombs. I did not pull one last year. So that is pretty cool to hit. I hit a Genesis last year, but no honeycomb. So that's gonna do it for this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Personally, I think the hangers might be the best bang for your buck, but that's just my opinion. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.